finding psi length using trigonometry is in this video and the first step with all trig is identify the right angle triangle because if we haven't got one then we can't move forward. So we identify we have a right angle triangle but a trig question will always have an angle. So a question like this one where we have two side lengths and we're trying to find the third side length and no angle is involved is a Pythagoras question not a trig question. Finding sides. First up label as we always do and the first video in the series shows you how to do this but quickly to remind you opposite the 90 degrees is our hypotenuse, opposite the angle in question is our opposite and beside our angle in question is the adjacent. So we label the three sides and only two of them will be involved. Either they're given to us or we're asked to find them. We go to Sokotoa and we determine which of sine, cos and tan applies for those two angles. We find the relationship using the Sokotoa triad and the second video in this series shows you how to do that if you need a revision on that. And then we just stick the values in the calculator and we get the answer. So let's run through some examples to see how it works in practice. We have a triangle, we have given one side length and we're asked to find another side length and we have an angle of 65. So we label our sides. We have hypotenuse and opposite, H and O. And when we get our Sokotoa triads up, we see that the SOH is the one that relates O to H. So that's the triad we're going to be using, SOH, because the sides in the question are O and H. So SOH, we want to find the opposite. So if I grey out the opposite, it tells me the relationship. Opposite is sin times hypotenuse. And then we just stick that in our calculator. S stands for sin. And that's always of the angle, so sin 65 times 74, put it in the calculator, and the answer is 67.07. Alright, x is 67.07. Let's do it again. We have a triangle. We have one side length of 86, and we're asked to find another side length. This time the angle's 35 degrees. So we are asked to find the value of x and first step is always label and we have the opposite in the hypotenuse. Calling up Sokotoa, again opposite and hypotenuse is a sin relationship. So we're in the SOH, but this time we want the hypotenuse. So when that's taken out, we have our relationship is O over S, which is O divided by S. And so the opposite is 86. S stands for sine of the angle, so sin of 35. And that gives us a number which is the answer to our question. Same procedure each time. The hardest part is knowing how to organize the triad so that you get from what you want to what you need to put in, which is to take out the one you want and what the relationship left is how we type it into the calculator. Another example, we have a length 3.7 we are asked for another length, we've called K, and we have an angle of 42 degrees. First step, always to label, so we have opposite and adjacent. This time, in our Sokotoa triads, we see that opposite and adjacent is related by tangent. So we're going to use the TOA relationship to solve this problem. 
we're asked to find the adjacent. So I'm going to grey out the adjacent. That leaves O divided by T, O over T. So the O opposite is 3.7. The T stands for tangent of the angle. And we get our answer, 4.11. Same technique every time. So, just to revise, we label the triangle sides H and A, O and A. We identify which two are involved in the question. Soka Toa then tells us which of sin, cos, and tan to use. O and H relate to sin. A and H relate to cos. O and A relate to tan. We use that triad to find whether it's a division or a multiplication and then we put the values into our calculator.